what we have done is that we've identified uh, key areas that we believe are gaps, gaps in the health sector. So, for example, uh, we believe that uh, when COVID struck, there were areas where we didn't have skills and competencies, for example, in data science and so on and so forth. Some of these gaps, such as the non-communicable diseases in areas of mental health, uh, drug misuse and abuse and so on and so forth, uh, injuries uh, and road traffic accidents are one of the areas that we seek to, to be able to uh, uh, take head on. Uh, these gaps have been identified. What we are going to be doing is basically create employment through certifications of new programs uh, at the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology, also to ensure that we run certificate courses in some of these short courses that we believe uh, will give the person who is a middle-level uh, manpower person uh, implementing the ideas of healthcare concepts in, in their various jurisdictions. Once we have them here for a week or two, we empower them through these certificates uh, courses that we'll be, we'll be offering here at the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology. Additionally, we seek to also collaborate with the existing uh, government institutions to ensure that these uh, institutions uh, come on board and they'll be part of the panels of interviewers that will be implementing these ideals of the health collaborative. At the end of the day, we are hoping that we'll create a network of individuals who are highly skilled uh, and, and, and who will be given scholarships uh, to be sent to deprived areas in this country. Ordinarily, uh, they wouldn't perhaps even have had or gained admission into the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology. Wherever, wherever they are coming from, whether the private, the public, uh, and or urban or rural area, they would have the opportunity to be able to apply for scholarships on this MasterCard Health Collaborative.